what are some of the biggest supply chain uh, challenges in, in your industry specifically and what has accelerated those challenges recently? Well, um, the supply chain uh, in uh, essential medicines has been disrupted for quite well some time, right? So um, in 2019, already the government identified that there were some issues affecting the supply chain of um, uh, active pharmaceutical ingredients and that had an impact on um, um, basically the American people. So they, there were shortages in medicines, right? So, um, and, and this is because of several reasons. So one is we're talking about the low, um, um, a, a basically profit uh, commodity, right? So, so companies uh, over the last few decades had actually outsourced the manufacturing um, a, offshore, right? So, um, and a, at this moment, 80% is being produced in China, 10% in India, and 10% in the rest of the world. And that was, of course, putting some stress on the supply chain. But additionally to that, um, with COVID-19, I mean, things got worse, right? So, um, so the, you know, um, the, our organization was designed and was created with the mission to address supply chain for active pharmaceutical ingredients. So as you mentioned, your industry, you just cannot tolerate disruption. Um, what threats, what risks concern you the most? Well, the risks that concern, that concern us the most, of course, are... Um, basically any kind of issue that could disrupt or uh, degrade our ability to manufacture. Uh, we don't only manufacture, but we also uh, store for the uh, U.S. government, right? So we, um, in, we, we manage the strategic resource of medication for the U.S. government, right? So, um, so issues that could affect uh, our ability to really support the, the supply chain uh, of these active pharmaceutical ingredients, right? So cybersecurity issues among them, right? So we, we have, as you well know, built a very, very strong cybersecurity posture. So we work collaboratively with the FBI, with the Department of Homeland Security, CISA, and other um, uh, basically public organizations as well. Mm -hmm. So do you think that as an industry, we're still too reactive to incidents? We need like a solar winds or KC a type of incident to happen before real action takes place. Is that still, from your perspective, the case? Yeah, I think that what we have seen um, um, across the board is that there are three major factors that um, um, basically drive cybersecurity investment. So I think that uh, it is clear that at this moment, uh, organizations are underinvesting in cybersecurity. And I think that um, these factors are organizations that have been hacked, right? or executives that come from organizations have been hacked, right? So uh, the other factor are compliance and regulatory factors, right? So, and the other is, of course, a general sense of awareness that there is a need to invest in cybersecurity. Most of organizations invest because they have been hacked, right? So it's more of a reactive measure. So it's very, very unlikely that you're gonna find organizations that um, have planned for investment or that have built cybersecurity into their design, right? So I would say that in our case, because we play in this particular segment, and uh, we started with a green field kind of approach. So we have embedded cybersecurity into everything that we do, and we have embedded cybersecurity into the design of our uh, a, a digital ecosystem and technical capabilities, and we're very well positioned, but that's not what you see in the industry. Right. I just want to bounce off of one of your answers. You mentioned regulatory, um, U.S. government especially is, is been invested in supply chain security, made a point to uh, elevate and prioritize it. You think regulation is kind of inevitable here? Is that the answer? Just You know, that's a, great, that's a great question, and I have mixed feelings about regulations. So on one side, um, uh, regulatory um, uh, compliances are helping the investment, right? So, and I think that they are needed, right? On the other side, um, hacker groups, um, uh, we, we've seen a trend in which basically a number of state-sponsored actors and cyber criminals, they prefer to go against uh, highly regulated uh, organizations just because organizations play against, uh, basically these regulations play against these organizations, right? So right now you, uh, you need to act quickly. If you're regulated, you need to act quickly. You need to address the problem and you have to... Um, um, and that plays in their favor, right? Because time is of the essence and, um, and, the, and, and, the, um, and your need to address this uh, rapidly actually uh, uh, force you into doing things that otherwise you wouldn't use, right? Mm -hmm.